Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad, and this is another Bankless tutorial. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use this new tool called HAL. It refers to uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, the, the computer HAL. So I thought that was really clever. But this is a tool that can be used with DeFi applications. Uh, it is not built on a DeFi protocol, but it is intended to be a tool that allows you to automate notifications uh, related to different Ethereum applications. So you'll notice there's quite a few here uh, and they have what are referred to as recipes, which you can message them if you've got ideas for different recipes. But if we take a look at the maker recipe, you can be notified about the collateralization ratio you have if you've got a vault or a loan open with maker. So if I click here, I could put in my, my uh, wallet address that's holding that, uh, that vault or loan. And then I can be notified by email, Discord, Slack, Telegram, Twitter, um, or anything that can use a webhook. Some of the other uh, DeFi applications that you can automate notifications for are synthetics. You can do that with the collateralization ratio if you're staking with synthetics. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to automate getting notifications about gas prices using this uh, chain link option. Uh, with Loopring, they've got a withdrawal notification programmed in. Let's see what they've got with Compound. You can track, oh, that's cool. You can track supply and borrow rates. So that would be very helpful. So you could decide that um, I want to track the lending rate, supply rate for, uh, let's say, let's pretend I'm looking for an opportunity to lend uh, an asset that I have in my wallet so that I can earn comp. And let's say that I'm holding Tether, then I can be notified if uh, the lending or supply rate for Tether, which is currently at 1.77%, I can be notified if it's less than, equal to, or greater than, let's say 5%. And then again, I just punch in whichever one of these, just flip the little switch and I can put in my my email address or Discord and so on. Let's see, we also have Ave with a few different recipes there. Pull together, I thought this was really cool. You can be notified of the winner. Uh, that's something as someone who holds pull together tickets, I have to go to the website and actually check it. And I think it gets updated at 3 p.m. Eastern every Friday, but this would allow me just to receive an automated notification uh, <laughs> whether or not uh, I have won. Gas prices are really high right now. Uh, and because they're so high, it would make sense that I might need a notification when gas prices are lower. Maybe I'm waiting on uh, putting through a transaction until the gas price is lower so that I can save money on transaction fees. So if I go to, uh, the homepage at 9000.hal.xyz slash discover. I'm gonna scroll down to Chainlink. I'm gonna click on the explore recipes, click use recipe. And then here's where I can decide if I wanna be notified when the gas price is less than, equal to, or greater than uh, whatever value is this. So right now the gas price is 62 GUE. Actually, if we update this, let's see what it is. Okay, so it's 62 GUE if uh, I wanna put through a transaction instantly. So in this case, let's see if I can set this so that if the current gas price is less than 50, then I'd like to be notified. Uh, another thing I could do other than just, you know, using one of these channels here like email or Slack is I could actually incorporate this into a Discord server. So if I'm running a community of, folks that are enthusiastic about DeFi, all I have to do is flip the switch here, scroll down a bit, and I need the Discord webhook URL. So where I'm gonna go for that is click on, uh, click on Discord, I go to the server settings, and then uh, under webhooks, you're gonna create a webhook, and this is what it ultimately looks like. So you can name whatever the bot is. You choose what channel in your Discord server. And then this is the actual webhook here. So I'm just gonna copy this. Go back to this, 
paste it in. Uh, I can now actually test it to make sure it's working. So I'll click post a test message. And there we go. Right there, there's my, my test message. And if I hit create, what I will have to do is sign up with either Google or GitHub. Um, so again, this is not a decentralized application. I'm not gonna actually sign in with like my MetaMask. Uh, this is a tool where you do have to give up some sort of identification uh, to use it. Okay, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us in the Bankless Discord channel. You can also comment on our, on our tweets as well as the actual video, which will be posted in the Bankless YouTube channel under Bankless Tutorials. And don't forget to hit subscribe. That'll keep you up to date on any future new uh, Bankless tutorials I post, as well as the Bankless podcast and the Bankless State of the Nation uh, show, which Ryan and David are doing, uh, I believe every few days now. So anyways, thanks so much for watching.